I sometimes go and stand out on, on the end of the wall down there with a cup of tea and you can see the peak pretty well. That's quite nice. <laughs> I'm uh, Taz Knight. I am 26, I think. Who knows? I can't remember ever. I grew up in North Devon and um, recently moved out here to Ireland. So this is up, just up in the flat here. It was one of the reasons why I bought the place because you know you get this view straight out onto inside left where the peak is. I always wanted to be able to walk to somewhere where I'd be able to surf and being able to just you know wake up in the morning and check the surf. You know that's the dream really, isn't it? <laughs> the the house has been a massive slog. <laughs> I think particularly because I didn't really have a clue what I was doing at the start, and I still don't. But um, but the more I sort of was working on the house, the, the more efficient I got, I guess, with my time. And I mean, I'm still slow. I still sort of spend a lot of time surfing and climbing. And but you know, that's why I, one of the main reasons I came out here was to enjoy, you know. The, the amazing country that Ireland is and yeah I don't mind you know taking days off to go and have fun. <laughs> you ain't nothing but a hole in the wall but you know this you should know this you ain't nothing but a hole in the wall But you'll notice You should notice You ain't nothing but a hole in the wall But you'll notice You should notice You ain't nothing but a hole in the wall But you'll notice Sligo, they're just these absolutely incredible counties. Up in up in the north, you've got these amazing sort of rolling granite mountains, um, and then as you move south, you get these big sort of limestone sort of erupting peaks, and you see Ben Bulbin and Ben Whiskin sort of rising up out of nowhere like these huge waves. And then you come down, you've got the Ox Mountains, and just the whole bay, at Donegal Bay, is just gorgeous. It's all right on your doorstep. And obviously the surf is off the charts. <laughs> I guess when I moved here, I did just have like a slightly different perspective on life. Um, where before I was, you know, I had sponsors and I was thinking, oh yeah, you know, maybe I could try to be a professional surfer or whatever. You know, making surfing your um, sort of income, I guess, it puts pressure on like the thing you love doing and it stops becoming the thing you love doing and starts becoming a bit more of a chore and you definitely have like less fun um, as a surfer when it's your profession or at least I found um, and I guess sort of moving to Ireland tied in with all of that really well because um, it meant I could sort of relax and slow down a bit and just treat surfing as a fun pastime and a hobby and 
as soon as I started doing that, I started enjoying surfing way more. I trust my eyes, don't lie, I am hypnotized. I trust my eyes, don't lie, I am hypnotized. I trust my eyes, don't lie. Just find a way to get away